Here are a few examples of clear resin. This is a key. This key was taken from an open mould. This is just plain clear resin. Again, from an open mould, this is a cast of strawberry. Mmm, custard cream. This is just to demonstrate the clarity that you can achieve with clear resin. Aye aye. Hey. We can also add pigments. This is a transparent green pigment I've added to a clear resin. We can also fill the mould with plain clear resin and then add just a small amount of pigment. This is another example of clear resin using yellow transparent pigments. And this is an example of marbling with clear resin using a variety of transparent pigments. As you can see, it still retains its clarity despite the amount of colour. This is an encapsulation featuring a number of items. First we have some nails, here we have some paper just printed out from a regular printer and some colour too. Here is an encapsulation of some pumice stones and gold leaf as well. If the material is light enough, it may be suspended in the clear resin. A encapsulation of some pebbles. And some string and a bangle. Basically anything that's dry can be encapsulated. All polyesters go through a series of curing stages. Stage one is the liquid. Stage two goes into a very soft jelly, so it can be scooped out and splattered on the table like a big slimy blob and creates this kind of finish. The next stage is a very soft cheese that can be scooped out and crumbled and creates this kind of finish. The next stage is a hard cheese stage. At this stage it can still be crushed and crumbled with the fingers but forms very solid chunks with smaller granules. Here is an encapsulation using acrylic as a base and three layers of silk screen. This was poured as one piece and each layer of silk laid in one after the next. Here is another example of a clear resin encapsulation, this time just using pigment. There are a number of layers on this piece. This texture on the edges is caused by seeping of clear resin underneath the protective sheet. Here we can see the layers of acrylic in this piece, each with colour in between. Here we have a piece of art by Geoffrey Litherland. He's used layers of resin and painted over the top of each layer and then covered that with another layer of resin and then painted over that and covered it with another layer of resin to create a painting that's got a lot of depth almost three dimensional painting in this here is an example of a very large casting which is taken in one go and you see the consequences of not altering the catalyst correctly it's a large fissure has opened up around the side almost breaking off one whole side of the foot to avoid this we need to use less catalyst always consult your technician on what's best percentage for you and your work this is another common phenomenon in casting with clear resins as the casting shrinks and pulls away from the mold we're left with these rivulets these can be simply sanded off and buffed using the buffing wheel to create this polished look we see here on this piece.